Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. I am currently in a hotel room. I feel like uh, there have been a lot of times on my channel where I have been traveling and wanted to still make a video. So that is gonna be one of those videos. I am traveling for work, so it's not like for fun or vacation. But of course, I am trying so hard to resist the urge uh, to just like order DoorDash and order a bunch of like fried food and bring it up to my room and eat it in secret. I I am not gonna do that. I have been strong since I've been here. I am going to try to only eat socially and uh, I have some healthy snacks that I brought with me that are keto friendly for my room. That's my goal. I feel like I have not been sticking to any particular plan this last week. I did a couple of days where I was doing keto and then I did just a couple of days where I just didn't. So it has not been consistent at all. I weighed in the day before that I left for this trip. So that was yesterday. Um, and I'm, it's kind of odd. I'm actually, I've maintained my weight. So I am now, I'm still 179, like 0.8 or something like that. I was just expecting more of a weight gain just because I have been eating those carbs and the carbs, you know, cause you to retain the water. So that has not happened and I'm thankful for it, but it also confuses me and it makes me think like, oh, well, yeah, I guess I just don't need to do keto. I really want to keep the momentum going for, from, you know, having lost 10 pounds on the, the keto diet for those 12 weeks, that 12 week reset that I did recently. But it, it's like I haven't yet committed to just being consistent with a plan again. So for the last, I guess now, two weeks, I, I've maintained the weight loss, which is good. But obviously, I want to keep losing weight. And I've got like another 15 pounds to go before I feel like I will be like satisfied with my weight loss goals. I brought gym clothes because I thought, you know, I'll work out while I'm here in this hotel not realizing that basically the hotel is full of people that I work with. So I I have to overcome this like weird anxiety about working or having people that I work with see me in workout clothes. And I, I wish, you know, it, it, I always, it's, I, this is a really like toxic thought and, and I don't want this to be triggering to anybody watching right now. But sometimes I, I feel like if I were a thin person, I would never question working out and having people see me work out. I said this in one of my other videos when I was in a different hotel and I actually did go to the gym, but I didn't know anybody at that hotel, obviously. Having people that I know that I work with, like in a professional setting, see me go to the gym as a fat person, I just, I don't know what it is, but it feels... It feels like I'm telling the world I am unhappy with how I look, which is why I'm going to the gym, which is so not like everything I just said isn't true. Everything I just said is twisted and warped and I don't know where it's coming from, but I feel like I'll be like oddly judged for like working out as a bigger person because because I don't look healthy. I don't look like I'm somebody that works out. And so it's almost like this this feeling of um, like people are surprised, you know, if they see me in workout clothes, like, oh, good for you, good for you. And it's like you would never say that to somebody who was fit, which now tells me that I'm clearly an outlier and I'm not fit. This is all stuff that's in my head and it's stuff that just really holds me back from living the kind of life that I want to be living. And... Like I said, I'm really struggling just not to put it, throw in the towel and go back to my old habits when I go to these like work conferences and just like eat, 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 eat in secret. Uh, there's even like a liquor store around the corner. I was like, oh, maybe I'll just get my own wine for my room. And that way, like I'll have my own little like, you know, vacation by myself and I don't have to socialize with people in order to like drink a glass of wine. Like I can do that in my hotel room. And I'm thinking like, no, no, you don't need to walk to a liquor store. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. You're not doing that. So I'm not doing that, but I'm struggling. 
I'm really struggling. It, it feels like a, I think I just have a lot of anxiety and the quick fix for anxiety is to eat bad food, drink alcohol by myself in the privacy of my like hotel room. So I'm not going to do that. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it for this week. I, like I said, you know, I, I traveled, like um, I, w I got here on Wednesday. So most of the week was spent sort of like preparing for this trip. I did go on another bike ride on Sunday, like last Sunday. And I signed up for a 22 mile bike ride for June 18th that I'm really excited about. So when I get back from this trip, I will start um, maybe being a bit more intentional about uh, getting on the bike and riding for longer distances. So I'm going to be doing that with my friend and uh, we'll probably, we'll probably do like a 15 minute ride or 15 minute, a 15 mile ride. And then on Saturday, we will do the 22 mile bike ride, which I am very much looking forward to. I, I, I know it'll be like a little challenging, but I also don't think it'll be that challenging. I have a very good bike and I have been doing Peloton bike riding for the whole of last year. So I feel like I am already ready to do even a, a like a longer ride, but I am going to stick to the 22 just to be safe. Well, I think that is all for today's video. I will see you all again, hopefully next week for maybe an actual like weight loss. We'll see. I, I will try my best to kind of stay on point and uh, just get focused again on on sticking to keto, I think is the best solution for me uh, in terms of like not having to count calories, not having to like worry about it. I'm not hungry. I'm not craving things. Keto for me actually was the best thing that I, that I have done so far. The easiest diet, if we're going to call it a diet. So that's it. I will see you all next week.